Hello, I'm Brett Martin from Zenata Consulting. In today's tip, we're going to show you how to use the Zoho Mail application as an email client for any email service you may use using the IMAP connection. Enjoy. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to mail.zoho.com. This is if you're setting up a brand new account, this is the screen that you're going to see. It is basically going to basically ask you to create an organization. Now, if you are planning on using Zoho Mail as your MX servers, you can go ahead and create the organization, put your domain in, get yourself entirely set up, and away you go. But the purpose of this video is you want to use the mail as strictly an IMAP client, similar to Microsoft Outlook, so you can access your mail. In that case, don't do that. Just do the create an email account um, using the Zoho.mail uh, organization. So if you go ahead and do that, it's basically going to give you an uh, email account, and you're going to be kind of all set up instantly. And it's going to take you, you're going to have a splash screen. You can say skip. It's a tutorial. But it's going to take you to this screen, and basically you have a basic Zoho Mail account that you can use for free. Um, if you want to do IMAP accounts, though, that does require you have a paid account if you want to actually IMAP into another account. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the screen here, we have the little settings gear box that is checked. You're going to go ahead and click into that. That. And that's then going to take you to a big old menu of all of the various settings that you have for Zoho Mail. By clicking on the Mail section up top, that's going to shrink this down a bit. And then you can just go ahead and choose the Mail POP3 account. It doesn't really matter where you click in here. Uh, it's going to take you to the same screen. Now, since uh, it required a paid account to do this, and I started this demo in a free account, um, I actually have switched over to our account showing uh, how you can set up an IMAP. So you'll click that add a mail account up at the top, and that's going to take you to this screen right here that you're seeing. And then you're going to want to go ahead and choose IMAP. Now, you'll notice it will actually automatically log you in and do the configuration for Outlook, Office 365, and Zoho Mail, saying you want to pop IMAP in from another Zoho account, perhaps. Um, but then everything else is others, and that includes Gmail, which a lot of people use. Um, here are the actual settings for Gmail. So if you're going to go ahead and do Gmail, which a lot of people do, these are going to be the settings that you're going to need. So for incoming, SSL, yes, imap.gmail.com port 993. And for your SMTP server, it's smtp.gmail.com. Turn on SSL, and it is going to be port 465. If you are going to do TLS, then it is going to be port 587. Enter your username and your password, and away you go, and you will, uh, you'll be able to be configured. So how do you set that up? So if you've done this, you're basically going to be brought to this screen, where again, you're now going to go ahead and choose that you want to do an IMAP setup. Before you can see anything and start to fill anything in, you do need to put your email address, your account name, your default email, your reply email. You can set it as your default account or not. Um, then the buttons at the top, the incoming button, they really don't do anything. These just let you scroll down the page. So uh, if you scroll down the page, you will see you will then have the ability to put in all your incoming server information. If you're using Gmail, that's the information that uh, I just shared with you and your outgoing information as well. And once you've done that, you will have uh, this set up as a IMAP account. Uh, I use it that way here at Zanata.com. Uh, all of uh, you'll see that I've got the Zanata.google right there. That's actually IMAPing all of the mail in. It pulls in all the folders. We talked about SANE later on a few shows. So you can see all the SANE later over on the side. It basically works uh, very, very well. Anyway, that is all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial.